guys, it's Jen, and I'm here with another process video for Allie Edwards using the September 2019 Stories by the Month kit. I thought I would just show you the kit really quick, as I usually do, um, before I get started. So um, this month we get some little wood veneer uh, leaf pieces. This is the stamp set. Highs and lows, September details, today was a lovely day, so very thankful, life right now, this September story, little bits of life, and a leaf, which is super fun to make patterns with. Um, here is the chipboard set. So there's some back to school stuff, some kind of aut autumnal stuff, that kind of thing. Um, and then we also have some stickers that are just some black circles. Yeah. And then we also have some cards. So back to school adventures, highs and lows, life right now. There's that lovely day. I like this kind of um, fade here. Here's the story. Bring on the routine. September details. And then there's a pattern with that leaf stamp. And then this card, which I love, with the little labels. Loving with kind of that autumnal, um, not a floral, but like kind of. <laughs> September life. Around here. And every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree. That's Emily Bronte. So there's usually a quote card. So that's what the kit is. And I'm going to be filling in a space in my six by eight, whatever the crap I want album, which I have shared here before. But um, I just have layouts in here. They're a mix of physical and digital. And I have some spaces in here. So I'm going to fill in this space right here and uh, just do this little story of my daughter having a locker. It's just crazy to me. So anyway, I'm going to put you on fast forward and talk you through my process. All right. So I'm going to start by cutting down this photo. Uh, I printed it six by eight on my printer at home. And I absolutely love this photo of my daughter. She just looks so grown up. It's crazy the way kids grow so fast. But uh, she went to junior high last year. This is from uh, last school year, not this year. And uh, I have been wanting to tell this story or scrapbook this photo for quite a while. So I'm glad I'm getting to it. I decided to use that back to school adventures card and combine it with the bring on the routine card and I'm going to make it say bring on the back to school adventures and I think it turns out really fun so I'm just putting them together like that I'm going to put them to the left hand side. I love taking photos where there's a lot of open space that I can uh, journal on or embellish or something like that so yeah that's going to end up going there and then I'm going to think about what embellishments I want to include. I want to use that little apple and I like the camera as well. I'm trying to decide how I want to embellish. I like the idea of adding in another pop of black since there's black on the title that I created and there's also like a black and gold pennant on the wall and so I definitely want to include some. And so I didn't put the sticker down. I put it on a little bit of wax paper so that I could move it around while I'm still thinking about it. And with this September story card, I am going to trim it so that I have a line of those um, labels that I can do my journaling on and put it at the bottom of my layout. So I thought about just using the bottom half of that, of the piece that some of the labels were cut off, but I didn't like the way that looked. So I'm going to use the one full row of labels that is empty there. And I'm going to write on that. And I thought about just including the circles down at the bottom somehow. I kind of like the way that looks. I'm just going to go back and forth a little bit on it because I couldn't quite decide. I feel like sometimes when you have a really, really simple layout, sometimes the embellishing is a little bit harder because each piece matters so much more and it has to be a little bit more intentional. Uh, but, you know, I like doing it all. So I'm going to go ahead and glue down this little piece at the top and... I'm just butting those right up next to each other so it looks like it might have been one card even though it definitely wasn't and then I'm going to go ahead and put this at the bottom because those are the things that I do know for sure and I like the way that it kind of looks like Malia is standing on that little ledge of that paper. So I decide to put the apple at the top because it says back to school up there and I'm going to put the camera on the bottom and I will 
uh, stick those down in a minute. I'm still like kind of thinking, going back and forth. I felt like I needed some color down at the bottom, some orange or some red or something. And so I'm just having a little bit of a struggle. I'm going to take this card, and sorry, I stood up for a minute to go grab a punch. I'm going to take the card that has the September um, something. I can't remember what that says now. I can't read it in my video either. But I'm going to tuck this little half circle that I punched. Oh, it says here's the story. Um, I just used part of that circle that I punched. And so I'm going to do that and then put this the school days sticker right underneath it. And I like the way that they nestle together like that. And then I'll put the camera on the bottom and it's going to go off the edge. So I went ahead and did my journaling just in those two right hand uh, labels. And now I'm gluing down the other things here on my layout. Again, I'm making that go off the edge there and just trimming that a little bit. And now I'm thinking about how I want this to look. It's kind of bugging me. I want the apple to be red possibly. Um, so I'm looking through some of my acrylic paint markers. These are from PBO and I have a red one and I think that the color will work. So I'm going to attempt to color in this apple and I didn't know if I was going to like this, but I end up actually really loving it. So I'm glad that I did it. Uh, I don't show it in the video, but I, at the end, I do color in the camera at the bottom as well. It just, it needed something down there that had some color to it. So I'm happy with the way that turned out. I thought about using the yellow to color in part of it as well, but I did not. I just left it at the red and that will work out just fine. So um, I'm happy with the way that turned out. I am having a struggle with uh, if I want to put the circle along the join of where those two cards meet or a little bit higher. I want to put it higher, but I feel like it, it belongs on the join. And so I'm just trying to figure out a way that I can make it work. But um, I'm I'm not going to and I'm just going to go ahead and put it down kind of where the two meet and I feel like that's the best spot for it. So I'm thinking about adding in some enamel dots here maybe to fill in the spaces and so I'm looking through the enamel dots that I have trying to decide what might work here and I found these little gold stars and they were the perfect embellishment um, and so these are from American Crafts and I'm just using them to uh, fill in that space at the top of the layout and then I'm going to stamp my date down at the bottom. I think I do it at the bottom. Maybe I don't. Oh, I do it underneath my title area. And I just stamped the month and the year. It didn't work that great, so I stamped it again. So it's not exactly perfect, but you can read what the date is. So it works fine. And then as a last finishing touch, I'm going to use my gold stapler with that has my gold staples in it and just add a few staples to the circles and or to the circle and to the title area and then call that good. So that is the layout that I created. I hope that you enjoyed. Here are some close-up photos. If you haven't checked out these uh, stories by the month kits, I love them. They're great for telling stories. Here you can see that camera filled in. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Here are a couple other videos you might enjoy where I'm using Ali Edwards products. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you don't subscribe, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see videos from me. I post new videos each and every week. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon.